How you look matters. Now, I'm not talking about your physical appearance. I'm not even talking about how you look to others. I'm talking about right now how you look to yourself. And we're not talking about in the mirror. Here's what I'm talking about. How do you look to yourself when it comes to your confidence or to your likability, maybe to your professionalism? How do you look or think about yourself? What do you think your endearing characteristics are? What do you think are the things that you need to work on? You see, we come here today because I had to do a self-assessment in this journey program that I'm working on, and it forced me to do a self-assessment to rate myself on a scale of one to 10. Then I had to get three other individuals to rate me based on their perception, their point of view of me in those same areas. And here's what I have to tell you. Maybe you're going to be like me. I am my own worst critic. Areas that I gave myself fives and sixes. Yes, fives and sixes, 50%. My um, individuals who rated me said, Neil, you're much too hard on yourself. You truly are a nine, a 10. Instead of me saying, of course, I ask them, are you sure you're not just being nice? And here's where the gift of these assessments came in from those three people. They gave me evidence and reminders of what I've already done, who I really am, the things that I put out there. So I'm going to ask you, do you need to stop looking at yourself and maybe have some others look at you? and say, this is how you really look. Stop being so hard on yourself. These are your wins. These are your victories. These are the people's lives that you've impacted. These are the areas that would be severely lacking if you were not here. Now, I've learned from my coaches and mentors that there are three groups of people that you typically want to get assessments or input from. The first group are going to be those that love you. Many times, those that love you will help you see how you look. Now, we want to be careful because this is only one group of people. So make sure that you're asking people that love you um, how you look to them. Maybe they can instill some confidence. Maybe they can remind you of some things that we've forgotten on our journey. So after the people that love us, the people that know more than us. Maybe it's someone who has been down this journey or taken the path that you're on right now, and they just simply know more than you. Even if they are, <clears throat> Alex Alvarin, much younger than you. I say Alex because he is one of my mentors, although I think when I was graduating high school, he wasn't even born yet. And so those that love us, those that know more than us, maybe someone who in your field or in the relationship um, status that you want to aspire to. Maybe you're single and they're married, happily married. Maybe they are further along in their careers. Maybe it's someone who knows more about fishing and I'm not say fishing, um, uh, physical fitness and nutrition, free mo, right? So you want to know or what those people think about you that love you, those that know more than you. And then the third group of people, they might not love you. They might not know more than you, but these are the people that just want to see you win, who want the best for you. And you're going to say, well, Neil, wouldn't those be in the other two groups? Not necessarily. We know that we have family members that don't want to see us win because they care about us. Not in a negative way, not wanting to see us win, but oftentimes a journey to winning requires some pain. We must endure some things. We must make sacrifices. Those people that want to see you win are the individuals who are going to be your cheerleaders. That when you offer something, they're always going to be first in line to buy. They are going to come and say, you can do it. Thank you so much. I believe. I can't wait to see what's going to happen. And oftentimes those people are going to also help you say, what? You think you're not handsome or pretty enough? You think you're not smart enough? Let me show you what you've done for me in my life. Let me remind you of the victories. Maybe this is that David and Goliath moment where someone has to say, you've already killed a lion and a bear. That giant, that Philistine, 
no match for you. We need those people in our lives. And here's what I want to ultimately encourage you with today. Don't look so hard at yourself, right? Because ultimately, if you're like me, and you probably are, especially if you're still here watching this video, we know that we are our harshest critics. We say things to ourselves that we would never say to our worst enemy. So I want to encourage you that how you look matters, but especially how you look to yourself, but most importantly, how you look at yourself. I'm willing to bet that many of those fives and sixes might actually be eights, nines, and tens when we have an objective view and we remember the successes that we've made. I hope that you enjoyed this video. I'm going to ask you to either be someone who loves me, knows more than me, or wants to see me win. Share this video with someone that's maybe in those three groups of your circle. Also, be sure to comment. Let me know um, how you view yourself, what your struggles are. This is an open place, not for monologue, but for dialogue. And I would love to have a conversation with you. Most importantly, be sure to subscribe because we're going to be dropping this content as we finish out the year and go into our best year ever. I love you. God loves you. And there's nothing you can do about it. And until the next time I see you or you see me, don't be average. Be world renowned. Peace.